And welcome back to 23 ABC on this Friday. Joining us live in studio this morning is uh, Congressman Vince Fong to talk more about what has happened the last few days. First of all, thank you for coming in. I Thanks for having that. me. Uh, let, because we haven't had a chance to talk, it is now election night plus two and a half. Uh, what has this been like already? Well, it's been uh, surreal. I mean, certainly very humbled uh, that the, the, the residents of the 20th Congressional District have given me an opportunity to go back to Washington, D.C., to be their voice, uh, to, be at, to be at the table as we uh, begin to govern. Uh, the last uh, couple of days, um, the, my phone has been going off the, the hook in terms of now we've got an opportunity to, 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 to set our, our, our country and our state on a better, uh, on a better course. Um, that frustration that, that we saw throughout the election process uh, you know, frustrations about the border, frustrations about mm -hmm. the economy, uh, the, the gas prices, uh, food prices, uh, electricity prices, all of those things we now have an opportunity to tackle uh, these challenges head on. Uh, and as far as the election of President Trump, uh, since that moment, what has the conversations been like for, for you being one of the newest members of Congress, uh, despite, uh, despite having served the last six months or so, what has that been like for you? Well, we are, we are preparing for, for what we're going to do in January. Uh, when President Trump gets sworn in, when Vice President uh, Vance uh, comes in with a Republican Senate now, uh, we're, it looks like we're going to hold the, the majority uh, in the House. Um, you know, this is the opportunity to govern, to tackle these challenges head on. Look, we didn't get into these, uh, into these crises as a state and country overnight, mm -hmm. but the, the policies of the Biden Harris administration has made things worse. And now you have uh, Gavin Newsom uh, trying to, to, to insert himself. But uh, Californians rejected the Newsom, and, uh, the Newsom agenda. Uh, Americans rejected the policies of Biden Harris. And now we've got a reverse course <clears throat> and get our, get our country back on the right track. Let's, before we get into Governor Newsom and his press conference and Rob Bontas uh, the other day, uh, getting back to the election and what looks to be Republican control, uh, does it feel like there's any added pressure at that point where, where the public has voted this and said, okay, now do it. Do what you promised. Is, do you look at that as pressure? Well, there's a sense of urgency. I mean, right now, um, you know, we, we hear the frustration from, from uh, the public. Um, you know, they are rightfully upset at the direction of our country. And so we have, uh, we have uh, to, to work uh, as quickly as we can to get the economy back on track, uh, to secure the border, uh, to, to increase our energy security, uh, to, uh, to, to, to build infrastructure, both to harden our supply chain and to secure our water supplies. Now some, now, some of what you just said, though, has Governor Newsom sort of directly uh, contradicted during his speech, talking about the direction of California, how he was already two days in planning to stand up to the Trump administration on many of those things. Uh, where do you see that type of reaction right now? We saw some of your comments yesterday on the governor's uh, speech on that. Is there potential to move forward and work together there? Well, as I said before, Gavin Newsom is just playing politics. It's political gimmicks. He's trying to, to, to make splashy political headlines. But at the end of the day, the, the mandate that was sent on Election Day is to govern, to fix our problems, and to do it as quickly as possible. If, if, if Governor Newsom was serious about the challenges facing our state, then he needs to look in the mirror. Mm -hmm. It is his policies that were rejected by the American people and by Californians across uh, across California when you look at the results in California. I need to ask one, we're running out of time, but if you could address, there's been some concern over remarks that President-elect Trump had made out on the campaign trail, one of those about mass deportations on day one of this thing. Uh, there's concern among people in the community that they're coming for me sort of a type of thing. Is do you see it that way? The, the, President Trump is very clear that we need to secu secure the border on day one. Mm -hmm. and so you've talked to the Border Patrol, the San Diego sector right now, when it comes to illegal immigration, is the most active sector in California. We need to look at those who've, who have uh, committed crimes against Americans. If you're an illegal immigrant that, that broke the law and have harmed Americans, then you need to be deported. Okay, and that's what we're talking about. Vince Fong, thank you for coming in. Best of luck to you. Feel free to come by. Absolutely. And, uh, and share your thoughts uh, throughout the next four years. Thanks for having me. Time. We will. Appreciate it. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much.